Barry here with Cruising Authority at CruiseTalkShow.com. I'm in Gothenburg, Sweden, and I'm just about to board the beautiful Diana with Gata Canal. Now, this is going to be a really interesting trip because I'm used to the big cruise ships. So this smaller vessel is going to be uh, kind of a, a new experience for me. So I hope you enjoy this wonderful journey with Gata Canal, sponsored by Borton Overseas. We first boarded the Diana in Gothenburg, Sweden, and it wasn't until the next day that I learned how to properly pronounce the name of this company and this fascinating canal system. The correct pronunciation is Jutta Canal. The Jutta Canal Steamship Company in Sweden has a long history that dates back to the 1800s. In fact, I was so excited to have the opportunity to visit all three vessels in the Jutta Canal fleet while in Gothenburg. The world's oldest passenger vessel still in operation is the Juno. First launched in 1874, many of her original fixtures are still in place. And of course, her power plant and a few areas of the boat have been modernized to meet modern safety requirements. Our vessel, the Diana, was first launched in 1931, and I can tell you firsthand that she still maintains a very quaint and comfortable environment. Perfect for a relaxing on deck as the heartland of Sweden passes by. We're aboard the Diana, and I'm here with the guide and tour manager. How are you today? I'm very, very well, like always when you're on the canal. Now, please explain to me, how do you say Yatta Canal? Because I used to say Gata Canal before I knew how to say it in Swedish. How do you say it? The Swedish way of saying it is Göta Canal. Göta Canal. How long have you been on the Yatta Canal on this boat, or on with the uh, Yatta Canal, the company? Uh, I've been working here for five seasons, so this is my sixth season. And I normally work on uh, the oldest one, which is called Juno. This is the newest one, the Diana. This is always the first trip from Gothenburg to Stockholm. It's always very exciting. What is it that uh, causes you to be so passionate about working on the, the Yotta Canal? Well, let me say, first, I love to work with people. And I love boating. And the atmosphere on these old ships are unique. And the nature around, and all the locks and everything is just fabulous. It's absolutely incredible. Is this truly a Swedish experience on uh, these vessels with Jutta Canal? It definitely is. Because, I mean, you have so much in culture around, and also the reason why this canal was built and, and everything around there, it's, it is unique. It's a really a wonder, in fact, that this canal was built. And uh, the father of the canal is Walser von Platten, 
and we have him to thank for that we can make this fantastic travel today. And when did it first open up? Uh, 1832 the canal was ready after 22 years of building. Thank you so much for a wonderful time. You've really made this trip special. Thank you very much. Thanks. Right now I'm looking at the original lock that was built in 1800 and it was operational until 1916. But this is just fascinating how uh, this uh, lock has had such a significant impact in the commerce of Sweden. Well, as you can see, our boat, the Diana, is at the top of the lock system, and we're just about to come down through about five different locks to another lake. Uh, I think this is the last of the major step lock system that we're going to be tra traversing. But this is what makes cruising on the Diana so interesting, so fascinating. I'm aboard the Diana in the dining room, and I'm here with the CEO and the director of Yotta Canal Steamship Company. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And, and tell us what your name is, sir. My name is Håkan Gullberg, and I hold this uh, position as uh, the CEO of the company. Tell us a brief history of Yotta Canal uh, Steamship Company. How did it uh, start, and uh, what are some of the highlights of this company? Uh, we started already 1869 and we operate three old ships, uh, MS Juno, MS Willem Tam, and then MS Diana. Juno, she's the oldest, she's from 1874. And we have many f uh, famous passengers on board, for example, Hans Christian Andersen, the, the Danish author, he did it twice. So uh, we are part of uh, the Strömma group, and uh, it's one of the most important uh, tourist companies in Sweden. Now tell us, what is your demographic? Who, who, what type of passengers uh, do you typically have on these cruises? Mostly we have uh, high le uh, quite old people, uh, about uh, 70 approximately. But uh, I would say uh, the last 10 years we have seeking for a little bit younger people. So the, it's whoops, wealthy, healthy, old people, and then dinks, double income, no kids. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Mm -hmm. So welcome. Our cruise on the Diana was a very special journey because of the wonderful dining. And of course, we saw so many wonderful sights along the way. Part of the cultural experience on board is the cuisine, which is very Scandinavian with a variety of fish and Swedish specialties. The chef prepares an exceptional variety of foods that are very well presented and delicious. I'm very excited to be right here in the galley aboard the Diana, and I'm here with Marie. She's the chef uh, aboard this vessel and does a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Now, how long have you been working for uh, this company? Uh, yes, this is my fourth season uh, on shore, aboard. And, and you've been cooking for how long? Uh, about 25 years. So you have a tremendous level of experience. Now, does uh, uh, Yotta Canal, the company, the steamship company, give you a menu to prepare specifically, or have you had much input in what you prepare? We have a special menu that we are given, but as I have been on board for uh, some time, they, we discuss it. So you, I have some influence. So this truly is uh, traditional uh, Swedish cuisine that you create here in yes. this gallery. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What is one of your? Uh, what's an example of uh, of a Swedish traditional dish that you create? Well, I like fish. We, we serve a lot of fish on board. Not that much meat. What, what types of fish do you usually... We have the porch pike, um, herring, and um, 
not salmon, but a smaller red fish. I, I can't say. Forel, I would say. Well, Marie, the, the, the cuisine aboard the Diana has been just wonderful. Thank you so much for all your hard work, because I know you work hard down here. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> During our journey aboard the Diana, along with experiencing the fascinating lock system, our vessel passed through many small towns and rural areas. I was amazed by the 66 locks we went through, and the Diana even passed over several aqueducts, where major roads went under the canal. As a passenger on this classic steamer, we had the opportunity to visit a museum and see beautiful homes along the canal. We also visited what used to be Sweden's armory and the Swedish version of Fort Knox. And what is the name of this fortress that we're visiting today? It was Karlsborg Fortress. And what year was it built originally? Uh, it was, they started here in 1819 and it was ready in 1909. So it took 80 years. 90 years. Now, uh, why did it take so long? Yes, it was because of the development of the guns. It went before this building, so they had to reconstruct the fortress all the time. And uh, what, why was this fortress constructed? What was the purpose? Uh, yeah, we, were, we, had, uh, we had a war against uh, the Russian, and then they began to think in other defensive thoughts. We call it the central defense. So if the enemy comes, we let him in in Sweden, and when he comes somewhere in the middle of Sweden, he should be tired, he has no equipment, and we could beat him. So they built a fortress here in the middle of Sweden. How many men do the bunkers hold? Uh, they can hold 5,000 men. And, and uh, was this fortress successful in holding back the armies? We don't know. We have never used this fortress in, in a war. Never. So it was successful. We, we, we didn't have to use it. It is such a pleasure to be here on the bridge of the Diana. And I'm here with the captain. Captain, it's such a pleasure to be here. What, what is your name and how long have you been captain? My name is Åke Foghammar. I've been captain for this ship Diana in six years. Now tell us a little bit about some of the people that you've had on board that are a little bit more notable. I understand you've had some very interesting guests over the yes, years. Yes, of course we have. We have the Swedish king and also Mrs. Hines. The, the senator's wife, Mrs. Hines. Yeah. From the United States. Wow. And she's from Sweden. Yeah, she's a Swedish girl from the beginning. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the engines. Uh, what, what powers the Diana? Uh, we have two engines and one propeller, and it's about 500 horsepower together. But it hasn't always been diesel engines. Uh, originally, you know, when was this ship uh, first constructed? It was built in 1931, but then it was steamship. And it was the, the, the reciprocating engines? Yes. And then when was it converted over to diesel? 1969. And we uh, changed those old diesel engines uh, two years ago. So now we have top modern Volvo Penta. That's really tremendous. I mean, this, this company has such a rich history. It must be quite an honor to be the captain of a, of a ship with Yutta Canal uh, that has such a rich history. Yes, it's very, I'm very glad to be captain for this. It's a long story back in the 18th century. Is there a part of the canal system that's more challenging than others? Yeah, on the western part we have uh, Landhöjden and the Spetsnäs Canal and together with the Bildströmmen. Captain, it is such a pleasure. Again, thank you so much for having us on your bridge. You are very welcome. Thank you. Well, we're drawing to the end of our journey aboard the Diana with the Itta Canal. We just passed the King's Palace, which was just spectacular. And we found out that the King was actually there because the flag was up and that indicates that they're actually there um, at that very moment. This is the main lounge on the Diana and uh, this is the main indoor meeting place and uh, it's just right forward of the dining room. Uh, this is a great place to enjoy the sights but also to uh, sit and read a book and socialize with your fellow passengers. I want to thank Borton Overseas 
at www.bortonoverseas.com. Make sure you give them a call. Even if you're a travel agent, uh, if you're a family, if you're interested in uh, experiencing for yourself the Yutta Canal, make sure you contact Borton Overseas. They're a tour operator that specializes in planning the Yutta Canal experience. Thank you for tuning in. This has been a production of Cruising Authority. My name is Barry Vaudrin, and until next time, I want to wish you smooth seas.